Jennifer Priest here with a fun DIY pencil case for everybody who loves coloring. The first step is taking some printable cotton fabric, putting it face down into the tray of the HP NV5540. Next, download a printable PDF coloring book page and send it to the HP NV to print. Once the fabric has printed, peel away the carrier sheet or backing sheet and discard. What will be left is an eight and a half by 11 piece of custom printed fabric that looks like a coloring book page. You'll also need a zipper, a paper towel tube, fabric markers, a piece of fabric, and a hot glue gun. Trace the end of the paper towel tube onto the fabric, then cut out each circle. Leave a little bit of an edge around each circle so it looks kind of like a donut. Next, use the scissors to cut from the edge of the fabric to the line that you drew and it's gonna create like a lot of little tiny flaps. This is gonna be important later. Use the scissors to cut along the entire uh, paper towel tube to cut it open. Now add a bead of hot glue to one side and then press the zipper onto the bead of hot glue. So you're gonna be pressing the twill tape side of the zipper onto the glue so that the zipper fits between the two cut ends of the tube. Repeat on the other side to close the tube. This is what's going to turn it into an actual case make sure that the zipper is totally functional. If it doesn't work, go ahead and peel it off and then re-glue it or reposition it. Next, put the end of the tube onto the fabric circle and then bend up the little flaps that we created and glue those onto the tube. This is what's gonna close the ends of the tube and make it an actual case that will hold all of your fabulous coloring book supplies. Check to see if the tube fits on the fabric, which it should. Most of the tubes are gonna be about 11 inches tall. Fold over the edges of the fabric with a bead of hot glue to give them a nice finished edge. This fabric has a raw edge, so this is going to give us a nice finished look without sewing. Wrap a measuring tape around the tube to see how big it is and cut the fabric as wide as the tube is, plus about half an inch so that you can fold over that unfinished edge of fabric after you've cut it with a little bit of hot glue and uh, secure it in place to have a nice seam. Add a bead of hot glue to one side of the zipper and press the long edge of the fabric into the hot glue. Next, turn the tube over and add a bead of hot glue to each edge of the fabric. Roll the tube onto the fabric to secure it in place. Make sure you press all the edges down and add a little bit of extra hot glue if any of the edges are not secure. You can also add some fabric trim, ribbon, um, pom-pom trim like I'm using here, or even sequin trim by using hot glue onto the tube. So add a bead of hot glue where the uh, fabric for the end of the tube meets the coloring book page fabric and run your trim around the uh, bead of hot glue. Next, you can take fabric markers and color and customize the coloring book page that you've printed onto the fabric. The HP ink is super, super vibrant and very, very dark, and it looks really great with this nice pop of color on this pencil case. Open up your pencil case and go ahead and start storing all of your great coloring book supplies inside. See more at myprintly.com.